Really gets my fucking blood boiling. But, uh, but yeah. <coughs> Alright there. That's the one. Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. Ambulance there. Uh, I'm not going to go into office today, I'm going to try and mix it up a little bit. Game of snooker. I like to put me two hours in every day. Uh, if I can, there's time. And I can think better, because you, you can keep doing these videos and you can keep going over the same old things. You know what I mean? It's like having children and I've got twins. And you feel like you're repeating yourself all the time, don't you? The words no and they don't get that do they six year old twins no they don't get it no dad can I no you can't but uh it is what it is isn't it no wonder I'm grey I'm old all right getting back to boxing I've left me notes in boot <laughs> and there's something else I forgot as well, I'm sure of it. Uh, getting back to boxing, uh, I worked hard this week, so I haven't been having late nights this week. I've been getting some good sleep. I've just had a quick look this morning. Uh, I've seen the O'Hara, in, O'Hara Davis interview with Heavy D. Heavy D? Is Heavy D doing a podcast now? <laughs> it's all good. People who want to talk boxing, and I forgot the I forgot what alias the other guy's uh, using now. The other guy in the interview, so we'll not mention his name. But he's a, he's reappeared, hasn't he? If you just click O'Hara Davis on YouTube, give him a follow. But I've had quite a few emails in for a lot of WhatsApp messages uh, regarding the Robin Reed. Uh, interview. Uh, <laughs> I'll be 200 mile, 180 mile, 200 mile round trip by the time I've gone and got my pal Frank. I've gone over to see Robin, have a catch up. Uh, might go and see Peter Fury, have a catch up as well, but it's very close to Yui's uh, fight, isn't it? So, let's we'll see, we might do it on phone. Uh, I'm not sure if Peter would want to have a chat on the phone because we match them, aren't they now? And like I said, they probably won't want to rock the boat. But I've got some good questions. Some you might not like me to ask. But what are we, what are we going to do? What are we in this game for? We're in this game to be, to be true to ourselves, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? What I don't like about boxing is I don't like how people slink in. And they've got ulterior motives. All that backslapping and you we're like brothers and brother from another mother. Uh, my man, your man, my man, and all that crap that people come out with while walking about with the jeans round their ankles. I don't want to see people's what make the boxer shorts are. Buy a belt. Hold your jeans up that way, buy a belt. That's what I'd do. Do an Eddie Earn and buy a belt. Show a bit of class. You won't get porky walking around with my jeans around my ankles, would you? Not that I wear expensive jeans anyway. Anything more than 50 quid for a pair of jeans and I'm collapsing on the floor. <laughs> Is that bad? If you wear. Somebody once put that I wear George's jeans from Asda. No, I don't. But I was having a look of a day in Asda. And they're not bad actually, so I might treat me son when I can get into a pair of 38 inch, which should be about another two months away. Big porky getting under 40 inch now. I thought jeans looking good. I'll probably end up with loads of jeans sent to me from uh, people who've got second hand ones who don't who are going to send them to a jumbo sale. 
but it is what it is, isn't it? No, I don't like expensive jeans. Jeans are jeans, aren't they? Back in the olden days, my dad said to me, if you wore jeans, you didn't have class because people used to wear suits. So I've always had that mentality when you go out, but yeah, I do wear jeans when I go out, but I don't see the point in spending a lot of money on jeans. Then again, <laughs> you can go spend money on, on a tailored suit. So, oh, we'll go this way. We'll go this way today. But anyway, what do I think about some of the stuff that's come out yesterday? There's a, there's a boxing channel on YouTube called YB something the last LDBC or something or whatever. And the guy is just putting out fake news. I thought Sporting Icons and Hatman Strikes Back were Matchroom FC. But this guy has just topped them. I mean, if you, you know, we're talking bias, you're talking people like Oasis One, who keeps leaving comments on my YouTube now. I might comment back to him one day, but then, you, then you, you're coming down to their level, aren't you? So I'm just going to address some of the comments that they've come out with regarding Tyson Fury. But I can't get into a battle with him because she, there's no reasoning with these people, is there? So if they want to say that Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder, in record books it says a draw, doesn't it? Draw, blue tick, or light blue. John McDermott beat Tyson Fury at first fight. Mick Ennis's words, not mine. Mick Ennis's words. So, there you go. Tyson got the nod. Because Mick's solid with WBC, isn't he? You don't, if you, if you don't believe that. Go and ask Andre Dirrell or Gary Shaw. Now, Mick Ennis is a good boxing man, but he knew John McDermott beat Tyson first time. Second time, Tyson were all over him like a rash, wasn't he? Do you know why that was? Because he trained. Now, Tyson, Tyson, when he's in mood, fantastic trainer. Can't get him out at gym. Ben Davison knows that. It's all a question of motivation for Tyson, because if we're talking skills, he's a 10, isn't he? He's up there with Ali, isn't he? For skills. For his chin, he's not up there with Ali. For his heart, yeah, he's up there with Ali for his heart. Chin-wise, no. No, oh, oh, no, oh, oh. Power-wise, no, I think Ali it's harder, even though he were only uh, just under 15 stone at his peak. Ali it's harder than Tyson Fury. Tommy Hearns does. Some people are just born with freakish power. Skill-wise, though, he's a 10. But the comments that I've seen, I'm going to give you a moment now, Oasis 1. Uh, well, Tyson Fury, you're a Tyson Fury fan. I applaud that, Oasis. But what I think you should do, if you, instead of being vocal on my comments section and spreading rubbish, if you want to have a debate with me, I'll have a debate with you, but I won't on YouTube because I'm coming down to your level and it's just going to be back and forward like Stig. That's why I don't have Stig on channel no more. Not that I don't like Stig, I am fond of Stig, but there's no reasoning to him. He's just coming out with the same old thing. If you ask Stig who the featherweight champion of the world is, he won't know, would he? All he knows is Fury Power! All he knows is Fury Power. And basically, Tyson Yui and Tommy Fury, who's best knockout that they've done? Sexton, Steve Cunningham, and I don't think Tommy's had a knockout, has he yet? I'm not sure. But not, the styles are not designed to knock you out. I'm sure if Peter Fury wanted to add something to Tyson or Yui, or when he had Tyson, and if Ben Davison wants to add something to Tyson as regards to create a style to knock people out, yeah, maybe then. Go on then, why don't you put your signal on then, love? Woo, bit of a wheel spin there. That reminds me of that tire fitted today. So as far as I'm concerned, their styles are loose. They're very loose, they don't force it. You know, they're not in the, they're not in the pocket either, they're on the back foot. Yui's added a lot more to his game, and don't forget Yui's 24. 24, he's not got uh, 
his man strength yet. Yeah. But Tyson's 31 now and he ain't, he ain't gonna change his style for anybody, is he now? That's nice, that love. Nice car, that. Nice car, that. All right. Like that. I've seen her in uh, Mason's at Wickersley on a Tuesday night with my pal. I go to Mason's sometimes on a, at Wickersley on a Tuesday and then up to the truck stop. If anybody wants to come and join me for a drink. Spencer Fearing, I know you're watching, you had plenty to say behind the scenes, haven't you? Last couple of days, Spencer. Truck stop, Ellaby, Rotherham, Tuesday nights. I get there at 9, Spencer, I leave about 11. I have two or three shandies. Feel free to come and join me. Bring your mate. Bring your mate we've been chatting with. There's talkers and there's cheese and onion walkers. But getting back to Oasis One. Come on the channel. I will give you, I won't give you my phone number. I will give you, I will borrow a phone on the day. Or you can give me your number and I will ring you. I'm a withheld number because I don't want you having my number because too many have got my number and people seem to want to give me a phone calls at three in the morning. I don't know why that is. That's probably because they're up all night and in bed all day. All the rest of us are up going to work and doing stuff. Cheers, love. So, but Oasis, you're very welcome to come on the channel. I don't know what your name is, I don't care. And we can have a debate. You can bring all your fury power statements and stats and all that. And we'll see if your debate, what you want to debate about, is any good. But this is how I look at it, right? This is how I can do a video and I can end it just like this. Tyson Fury's just beat Tom Swartz, he's undefeated. Yui Fury's just beat Chris Norad, he's undefeated. Yui Fury, Peter and Mick and Asif Fali, they got slated for that fight. But Yui is 24, right, 24 years of age. He just fought a guy, 17 and 0. Tyson has just fought that Tom Swartz. I don't know what his record was, I know we're undefeated. I don't know how many he had, it probably similar to Chris Norad. But anybody who, who slates Tom Swartz gets hammered by the Fury Power! Gimp squad, because that's what you are. Gimp squads. Now, if you want to come on channel, just leave a comment on my email. All you've got to do, fucking speed camera. We're in 50 then. Uh, leave, uh, leave an email, porkycorner at mail.com. Give me a number to ring, and I'll ring you off a, on a withheld number, or I'll go and I'll get a phone. I'll ring you on another phone. I'm not giving you my number, because I don't want anybody having my number. All of them who've got my number now, nah, nobody else is going to get it, because I'm getting a new number soon. Fed up and numpties ringing me. People actually ring me and go, Carl Froch is a dickhead, and hang up. I mean, on a withheld number. What that person who did that to me on Thursday night, he got up Thursday morning and he said, you know what I'm going to do today after I've signed on at the door? I'm going to ring Porky really late at night and I'm going to wake him up and I'm going to say, Carl Froch is a dickhead. And then I'm going to hang up. And then I'm going to tell my friends about it in the local pub about the time I rung Porky up and hung up. And then my friends are going to say, we know a song about that, don't we? Jesus, that's what I have to put up with. But it is what it is, isn't it, so... I'm gonna go hit some balls now and get my eye in. Pro practice clearing up front yellow tip black. See if I can do it in under 30 guzz this time. <laughs> I usually give up after about 40. Because you end up putting yellow and green, then you, you miss, so you reset them, don't you? But, Go on then. Jesus, what is it with people in the morning? Don't they know who I am? Right, I'll park in here, park over here. Oh.
<laughs> She's in. Right. I like that car there. X. Right. Looks like owner's in today. Might get a game of snooker. I might be getting it free. I'm not well in here, let me tell you. Seven quid an hour. Seven quid an hour for a game of snooker. Jesus. Unbelievable. It is. It is what it is, isn't it? So yeah, I'm gonna have you on. I'm gonna have you on the channel, Oasis One, because you've plenty to say on comments section. It's all negative, isn't it? So I'm gonna get you on channel. Email me porkycorner at mail.com and what I'll do, I will have you on the channel and we'll see what you've got to say for yourself. All right, and we'll see if your argument is is with foundation. Where did I get that word from? So, all right. And fellow Merc drivers, if you've got a turbo diesel Merc and it's always leave engine running when you stop. Just for a few seconds, my mate Frank told me. Alright, peace out. Boom. Hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? There you go, big pork here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Just had a game of snooker. Well, I was done. Uh, three and a half hours practice actually. Uh, you win some, you lose some, but you always win. You always win when you're playing on your own. Now. couple of things I want to point out, Box, Boxing News have rung up Josh Whale wanting a comment on uh, on his opponent, well we haven't got an opponent for Josh yet, but the, the opponent that it says on BoxRec is Abdullah Zamba, 12, 9 and 4, but he's not going to be fighting him, so, so they shouldn't really have uh, been putting that up on box rec so I don't know what's happened there if it's a mix up between Derek Ward or the matchmaker and box rec I don't know but uh, we can't really do much at the moment because Dennis's mum's just died and he's having a bit of time off so so we're all trying our best to to get things uh, back on uh, back on track but 
it's a bad time for, for Dennis and those who know him at the moment. And I want to thank Mick Whale and Josh for being patient. I know there's only six weeks to go out fight, is there? Six weeks? 20, 30, 32. Yeah, six weeks today to the fight. So there's plenty of time to get an opponent. And so thanks, Mick and Josh for being patient. Uh, in this uh, dark time for Dennis's family. Right, getting back onto boxing. Well, I seem to be very popular with Spencer Fearon at the moment. He's uh, he's putting threats on social media to me. So, what can you say? Oh, Spencer Fearon, eh? Well, this is how I look at it, right? There's talkers and there's salt and vinegar walkers. You know, Spencer Fearon many years ago was in prison. He was remanded in prison. He was uh, when Terry Dunstan were in there. I think Terry Dunstan were looking after Spencer in there. Spencer were only in for a week and he was crying at night. He was weeping. He was walking around the landing saying, I can't act this no more. I can't act this no more. Now, there's nothing big about doing prison, but a man will find out about prison and he'll find out about himself if he goes to prison. Alright, so if you can't do your jail, you weep. Like that. But luckily for Spencer, he was only in there a week, wasn't he? He weren't in there 122 months, were he like me, over a period of. 150 months, you know, 122 months over a period of 151 months, which is 12, 12, 144, 7, 151 months. So 122 out of 151, out of 151. So does Spencer think I haven't had anybody say anything like that to me? Listen, it's water off a duck's back. Spencer Fearon's a boy scout next to me innit so Spencer like I said to you if you've got a problem read the tweet that I sent back to you alright anyway that's the end of the matter now I've given you your two minutes uh, what I want to talk about now is boxing promotion who's, who's, a good, who's a good boxing promoter at the moment and a win well Eddie Earns number one innit He's number one. Frank's number two in the UK. Then you'd have to say MTK, wouldn't you, really? You'd have to say MTK are really, really up there because at the end of the day, they've got loads of fighters and they're having to go at promoting, and I think it's good. So they're, they're my top three. Then you, you'd have to put Mick Hennessy and Cyclone. They're your top five in England. I'm not going to put Dennis in top five because we're not doing enough shows and we ain't got a big enough stable. Now, Dennis probably gets in top ten, probably ninth or tenth, and that's just how it is. The shows are not coming out regular enough. Four shows a year, that's not, enough, that's not good enough for me. I want more shows, but I'm not going to mess my chances up with Dennis by kicking and screaming I don't scheme anymore I don't scream anymore I scheme you've got to be professional and just got to have a bit about yourself when you're in this game that we're in now there's things going on behind the scenes that we're going to be planning for the future now I want people to get behind the channel subscribe then you get your porky fix straight away don't you don't forget to hit the like button as well and leave a comment. If you leave a if you leave a comment, whether it's good or bad, it doesn't matter to me. All right, because what I'm going to do next week, I'm going to go through most of the comments over a, over one full day. I'm going to do a load of filming. I'm going to do a three-hour video filming all the comments from all the videos. So if you want to get all your comments and you've got anything to say, leave a comment or email me on Porky Corner. Porky Corner at mail.com. Alright?
So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, it's a fantastic sport. And hit that subscribe button and let's get this channel built up. We're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers before Monday. It's now Friday tea time. So let's get to 2,000 subscribers before Monday. Alright? And let's get this channel moving. Let's hit that million, million views mark. We're more than halfway there now. Um, we're going in the right direction and I'm really, really pleased. So I just want to thank Nicola for coming on board with me. Kay official for helping me out for that six months and Rico helping me out for the first six months. It's always going to be in my heart. Alright, so peace out. Keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. I'm going to do this video on the way home because it's a bit noisy in here. Alright, um, shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging and Climber Call. And. AJP Home Improvements at Epworth. Alright, boom. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Nice time for a drive. I'm going to take my car now, get a tyre fitted. Speed camera here. Get a tyre fitted. Take it for de-chroming on Monday. Then it's just a case of a few scratches getting painted on it. And I might sell it and get a van and have a porky wrap on it. How's about that, eh? And park it outside shows so that when all the anti-porky brigade, which is usually the Mafru Matrum FC lot, they can walk by it and give it a kick, can't they? Eh? What do you think to that? <laughs> oink! Oink! Keep on trucking! It's only banter! It's only banter! <laughs> hey, I'm a fisherman reeling them in. Don't let go, girl, you gotta have. Well, it's a hard life, isn't it? 20 past 2. I'm tired after that three and a half hour. More? No, three and a half hour. Three and a half hour. 21 quid. 23 quid, what's that? Seven quid an hour, 23 quid. It must be three and a half hour or just over three hour, innit? So, but it's all good stuff, innit? That's what I need to do. I need to go get my queue sorted first. I'll take my queue and get that dropped off and get it done. Yeah, I'll get my queue sorted. Need a tip on my queue. A new ferrule, or ferrule glue it growing on, whatever it's called. Top bit. I need about four inch cutting off. It's too big. It's too big to play with, so I need four inch cutting off. So be a lot. It'll be easier to use then. Uh, be able to get more movement with ball. Uh, Wait, here, my glasses. Yeah, so it's all right, isn't it? What can you do? 
I'll tell you what, I'm fed up for spending money on this car. Uh, what do I think about uh, the Billy Joe situation? I keep getting a lot of questions about that. I'm going to stand by my convictions that everybody knows that I had a feeling Billy Joe were going to go. And somebody said to me, look, Billy Joe was going to be leaving. And I did a video on it, didn't I? Because there wasn't a lot. I couldn't put everything in it because you would have exposed the person that told me stuff. And obviously, I don't get everything right. And boxing, sometimes a lot of people. They put stuff out, don't they, to, uh, as smoke screens, but this is how I look at it, right? Uh, boxing's still a great sport, it's just the people in it. You know what I mean? There's people in boxing that are pinching a living, pinching a living, that ain't got no care whatsoever for fighters. All they care about are themselves, these ponsers. Ponsers, sheer ponsers. And I have a problem with that in boxing. I have a problem. And if anybody's got a problem with it, I'm not hard to find. I'm not hard to find. I'm pretty accessible if anybody's got a problem. Come and, come and see me. Come on, channel if you've got a problem with anything I've said. Jesus. Spencer Fearon's on a hiding to note, isn't it? Some of the stuff he comes out with. Oscar Rivers has failed a drug test. Can't get any worse than that, can you? You can't get any worse than that. So, oh, is he up my ass in here? Fearing's going to end up in a lot of trouble with Sky sooner or later, or legal teams. So it is what it is, isn't it? When he goes, people will be rejoicing because we're fed up of hearing all this racist crap. He makes every interview about him, every single interview about him. Do you know what I mean? So it is what it is, isn't it? I'm going to put camera on uh, showing you how fast I'm going because I never go above 70, ever. Ever, ever, ever do I go above 70. Take my car for a wash or wait till after next week. Look at him here. I don't even look the other one to turn right. Make a comeback. I don't think so. You got a bit of free publicity for his tour with George Gomes though, didn't it? So it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. People are just gonna say things out of the VR. If you've got a platform like Sky, you're not gonna knock it back, are you? Like I said, I don't mean, I don't mean to mention this gimp, but Spencer Fearer. He's made a living out of it, hasn't he? You know what I mean? 
playing them race cards at Sky. You know what I mean? The man's a gimp. If you've got a problem with me, you to come to our show, pull me. We'll get him on the channel and get some views. Hey, get about 500 views with him on our channel, won't you? What are you breaking all the time for, mate? Hey, why are you breaking like that? You shouldn't be on road if you're going to be breaking like that. You know what I mean? Unbelievable. Uh, so. Big coming right lane here. Have a look. Get by these lot here. Oh, look at this lot here. That's a great start, isn't it? Brilliant. Brilliant. But other than that, I'm alright. I'm. Uh... Somebody pulled me actually this morning about. Somebody pulled me this morning about, let's put it into economy. Don't be flying around here, do we? we uh, wait for another tank. I'm doing an 80 quid tank a week. Must be off my head. 80 quid in juice a week. Eighty quid a petrol a week. People keep saying I'm on dole, don't they? You only get 74 quid on dole. Spending 80 on petrol, so good life on Dole, isn't it? Uh, I don't really know what to, to say really at the moment. I'm just starting to wonder uh, where they're going to go with Joseph Parker at the moment. A lot of people have given me a bit of stick actually for not putting Joseph Parker in my top 10. The reason I didn't put him in that top 10 is because I thought Yui beat him and I know he got a win over Ruiz but I thought Yui beat Parker and I thought that uh, and Dillian White beat him as well didn't he and Dillian White's in, in everybody's top 5 and top 6 isn't he because there's a lot of bullshit going on around Dillian White at the moment isn't there but nobody's saying he can't fight can they Nobody's saying that. To be honest with you, I thought he had Joshua on hook, he just couldn't finish him because of his injury. You know, when he gets in trouble, Dilly, and he bites down on his gum shield, so fair play to him. But if Dillian White gets done for this with drugs, he's got to be banned for life. It's as simple as that. You know, all these people who I don't want to say anything until B Sample comes back. Well, they were saying things about Miller, weren't they? Jarrell Miller, and when people were saying to them, no, oh, no, they're waiting for Jarrell Miller's B sample, it took four days to come back. Four days, and that was VADA, not UKADA, not UKAD, it was VADA, right? And VADA's controlled by Edward Hearn, that's how he got to know everything about it very quickly. And Eddie Hearn had to act quickly, didn't he, and get Joshua a replacement. Do you know what I mean? So, Lena, you in here, mate? Fucking lane, you in? Is it me or does everybody not know what lane they're in on the Fridays? I don't know. Eddie had to act quick with Miller, didn't he? So they're quick to throw him under a bus, but now it's his bread and butter, Dillian White, B sample, like I told you gonna go missing. There ain't gonna be no B sample. We all know about you Carter. They've got money problems, haven't they? I don't like these buttons that make your engine cut off when you touch your brakes. Right, what's happening is, right, you Carter are running out of money. They spent a lot of money fighting Tyson Fury case and eventually they come to an agreement, didn't they? Now, Dillian White's got a lot of money, Matcham have got a lot of money, and if you've got a lot of money, you can just basically do what you want in this world, can't you? If you've got juice, you can do what you want. Speaking of juice, orange juice, OJ Simpson, right. What, what, what do we know about OJ Simpson? No, he was worth 20 million money before his trial. And, uh, 
OJ Simpson ended up beating the rap, didn't he? They, could, they threw that much mud at, every, at all evidence that nobody knew whether they were coming or going. If Dillian White's going to do that to get off with it, good luck to him. But uh, the, the moral of the story is this Dillian White has been accused of failing an A sample. Now, what does that tell you? What does that tell you? Hey. What does it tell you? Come on! Fucking moving! Jesus! Traffic on the front, stressed out today, man. Dillian White's been accused of failing an A sample, and we're all going around in circles. All we want to know is this. We want to know where the B sample is. Ozzy Smith's put a tweet out, and Ozzy's, Ozzy's a well-connected guy. He deals with lawyers, and he, he, he works in boxing industry as an advisor. And Ozzy wouldn't make anything like that up. If UKAD have got problems with money, they've got problems with money. Varda, on the other hand, they're paid for by the promoters. Now, Floyd Mayweather will pay them to be tested, but it's not Olympic testing or UKAD, is it? Floyd Mayweather, did he have two TUIs? Therapeutic use exemptions? Now, I'm not going to say this is true, but let's say, hypothetically, Dillian White has a TUE. That means that everybody that's accused him is going to have to apologise. If he's had a TUE, why weren't they notified about it? Or did they just come back with that test and did Thomas Hauser jump the gun? I don't know, but I very much doubt it. If Dillian White's failed an A sample, we have first findings. He's failed it, Annie. There's no you can do about it if he's failed it. It's no good crying over spilt milk. We want to know what the B sample says. But why is it shrouded in mystery? 17th of July, when this video goes out, it will probably be getting on for four weeks. Getting on for four weeks. Four weeks it'll be getting on for. And we still have this B sample back. What does that mean? What does it mean? What? 123.9 diesel. To go get that. What does it mean? Why, 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 why aren't they showing us this B sample? That's what I want to know. I want to know about this B sample, me, and I want it to be put to bed. I don't want it to be dragging on and on and on. I want it to be put to bed so that people can move on. We all need to move on. We want to know what's going on. I want to know what's going on. That's what I want to know. I want to know who's guilty and who ain't guilty. I don't think it's fair on Dillian White if he's innocent. But like I said, he's the first one in here at Matchroom to have this problem in 33 years. We know about the Kenny Anderson one, he never fought again. Eddie Hearn buried that test, didn't you, Eddie? After Robin Reed fought Kenny Anderson, Kenny Anderson's test got buried, didn't it, Eddie? Hey, We know about that. We know about that one. So... And the Jarrell Miller, he got thrown under a bus once he were guilty. And then they were saying, oh, he didn't really have a contract with Mark Trum anyway. Same as Kenny Anderson, but Dillian White, he ain't got a contract with Mark Trum, but he's their pay-per-view star. This is why people need to fucking start telling us what's going on. So, we sort these out here now. Daz! Is that Gibbo? Two seconds. Where's the park it? Uh, yeah, uh, it's pretty there for now, I've Is that Tomo? How are you doing? We're filming here Tomo. Tell us about the Frank Thompson grubber. 
A legendary grubber will get your channel, Frank. <laughs> Tell us how you did it with, with ball, Frank. Go on. Just to chuck ball up, catch it, yeah. and ball it. If I didn't know what was going to happen, they got no fucking clue to the end. <laughs> I'm doing all right. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get me uh, tire fitted on back. Carl, you do know it's a bigger tire at back than front, don't you? Hey? You do know it's bigger at back than front, don't you? Wider. Yeah. Oh yeah, just, just checking. I'm gonna have a walk. I'll have a walk up on man. I'll leave it here with you. Yeah. I'll come back for you in the morning. But well, you, do you want to do it now? Like? Do it now, John. All right then. All right, I'll wait. Then. Right. Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Bam. <laughs>